What is up YouTube? We're underleveled. My name is Taka and the new Venusaur drop event has just went live. So in this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about this event as well as tips and tricks to help you collect all the promo cards to complete your collection. So let's get right into it. And if you're enjoying Pokemon TCG Pocket and the content we make for it, then we hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. So this new Venusaur drop event is running from right now, November 29th, 2024 and will end on December 12th, 2024 at the daily reset time. This is just like the previous Lapras EX event. So if you enjoyed that, then you'll really want to participate in this one because there are some awesome promo cards up for grabs. Here are the five promo cards that you can possibly get when you complete matches in this event. Now, out of all five of them, Jigglypuff is probably the most noteworthy one just because of how powerful sleep is right now. This card has just become the fastest way to sleep your opponent and it doesn't even require a coin flip. The next one that's interesting is the Haunter. It has slightly lower HP HP than the genetic apex version, but it hits for a whopping 50 damage for just one energy if you can flip heads. Greninja, Onix, and Venusaur all have the exact same attack and HP, but they do have a different art from the genetic apex version. Alright, so this is going to be a solo battle event, which means you're only going to be facing computers and not people. But first, to even access this event, you need to have a solo battle unlocked first, which you unlock at level 3. Alright, to get to the Venusaur drop event, on your main menu, go to the bottom and click on the battle tab. Then go to solo battle. At the very top, you'll see the Venusaur drop event. So here you can see, you can battle various levels of difficulty with a chance to get a promo pack every time you win. The higher the difficulty, the better the chance of you getting a promo pack. You can complete missions along the way and just remember, you don't have to do all of these missions all at once. You can do one at a time, but it will use more stamina. Or if you want, you can beat all of the missions or most of them in one game. I'll show you a deck that I use to beat every single mission with a single game so that I use less stamina. Alright, so on this side is the deck that I use. All of my Pokemon are 3 Diamond Rarity or below. This will help you complete the mission in Advanced and Expert. The Hitmonchan's are very important because these decks have a lot of colorless Pokemon, especially Kangaskhan. But you can knock out Kangaskhan with Hitmonchan in 2 turns. The one you really have to watch out for is the Farfetch. It hits for 40 damage for just 1 energy and it's not weak to fighting. It's weak to electric, but it does have low HP, so it shouldn't be too much of a threat. The goal is to knock them out as soon as possible. To complete the missions where you need to finish the match within 12 and 14 turns. You can use Rapidash to hit for 40 damage, or 60 with weakness, or 90 with blame. But for the bulkier stage 1 and 2 Pokemon, you might want to use Ninetales. Ninetales can hit for 90 damage, or 110 damage with weakness, or 140 damage with Blaine. But this is a very simple deck used to complete all of your missions with ease. But what you can also do is swap out a deck for a harder hitting one with no limitations to rarity so you can complete your win 5, 10, and 20 missions. But I highly recommend if you're going after promo packs, play on the expert difficulty. And if you happen to get a promo pack at the end of your match, you can claim it in your gift box by going to your home screen and hitting the gift icon on the top right hand corner. But good luck and have fun with this event. And if you found this video helpful, Helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe and turning on the bell for notifications for more Pokemon TCG Pocket content. But like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.